Today this is going to be an overview of how to configure and set up uh, the multiplex add-on for Cody for Plex servers is found on Shodan.io. Uh, need to start out by installing the server, by installing the multiplex add-on itself. I'm going to go into Cody. I'm going to go to System, Add-ons. And just you know, go to wherever you've got it at. In my case, it's going to be zip files. Should be right there, baby. Somewhere right there. Hang on. Anyways, you can go to wherever you store to that. In my case, it's going to be uh, my C drive on my desktop. It's going to be pluginvideo.multiplex.zip. Once the add ons installed, Need to minimize Cody. Now, if you're doing this from on an Android box, you will have to install the add on and go get this file and modify it via Notepad. We go to our Cody file. We want to go to add ons. We'll go down to multiplex, plug in video dot multiplex. We're going to go to resources, we're going to go to settings, and we're going to edit it with Notepad. And what we're going to change is these IPs right here that's been added. Space them all out because I had a good bit added the last time I was using it. I screwed that up, so let me go back into it. I actually opened it up with Internet Explorer, didn't mean to. Edit it with Notepad. We're going to backspace all these out, and then we're going to go to the group to get the IP addresses that we need. Uh, uh, what we're going to do, we'll go to, we'll get ours from Worldwide Plex. The real worldwide place. The other one closed down. 116 members is what we've currently got. I'll open it up. So we go right here. We're going to get what you want. And we're going to copy these for, to Notepad. You ain't got to do this. We're just going to do it just to make it easier. Anyways, now that we've got the IPs that we want to add, we're going to go right here and between the marks, and we're 
we're going to add the IPs without the port number. Where was I at? Right there. And we're going to push. And then we're going to add the next IP. And I don't know but what we may eventually do. We may eventually keep one of these settings.xml files uploaded and updated to the group that has the top server list on it of the top servers. You know, anything that's got over 500 movies in it may get added at random. Um, once that's done, save the files. And at most times, it'll save it, you know, especially you know, if you're on a computer just running it, it'll save it where it should be at. Then what we're going to do, we're going to go with add-ons. Multiplex. See. Add-on settings. All right, guys, remember both of those servers. Just select the one you want. Open the server up. Movies, music, TV shows, whatever that server has got, it'll have it listed below. All movies. You can search by, you know, whatever you want. Uh, also, there's a way also that you can go in and you can configure this where you can have multiple servers and they'll all show up on a tab via, uh, via, uh, trying to think via uh, super favorites anyways right there is to the movies I'm going to do about full wall right there and it load up some of them may or may not And I see you know, some of them will have artwork, some of them won't. And just to show that it is working. Yeah, sometimes it does take it a minute to load. There it goes, it is working as you can see. That's it for now, y'all have a good one.